Oh, hello everyone, my name is Hun, and today I'm going to talk about my work, Sketchopsky, uh, which is a composition framework that enables to run an ensemble of sketches on programmable switches. Uh, this is joint work uh, with CMU, Boston University, and Microsoft Research. So, um, network measurement plays an essential role for managing network. For example, to better provision re uh, network resources efficiently, some measurement data must be provided, such as which top K flows on five tuple use the most bandwidth on network links. And other measurement tasks can involve protecting against security threats to detect scene flood attack or port scan attack. It is critical to measure the number of unique number of flows on source IP or entropy estimation on destination port. So as you can see, it is critical to um, run diverse measurement tasks to make right management decisions on the network. So um, in order to run diverse measurement net tasks uh, on the control plane, uh, in the data plane, uh, the traditional state of the art is to run packets sampling such as NetFlow on fixed function network switch. However, it has many limitations. Uh, it suffers from low accuracy, uh, high resource overhead, and with the fixed functionality of traditional network switch, um, it cannot handle the changing needs of running different measurement tasks. So to overcome those limitations, uh, we envision to run sketching algorithms or sketches on programmable switch. So it has many benefits. Uh, sketching algorithms are known for high accuracy guarantees with resource efficiency, and together with programmable switch, now network operators can choose any sketching algorithm they want to run for different measurement tasks, and they can deploy them at any time they want. So let's um, take a look at the practical scenario, how they can deploy sketches on programmable switch. So they need to create an instance, sketch instance, to support one measurement task on the control plane. So for this example, sketch instance one uh, can be configured with on sketching algorithm for top K flows uh, and configured with the flow key definition of five to four. So as you can see, in order to run multiple measurement tasks on the control plane, multiple sketch instances must be running on the programmable switch. And we call this set of sketch instances as an ensemble of sketch instances or simply we call it sketch ensemble. So our goal now is to run this sketch ensemble on the programmable switch. However, prior work cannot handle the sketch ensemble successfully. So we consider three requirements here. The generality means any combination of measurement tasks on the control plane must be supported with low resource footprint on the switch and with high accuracy for measurement tasks. And as you can see, none of prior work um, can satisfy all three requirements and we'll specifically look into one prior work. So um, last, year, last year here at NSDI, I presented this work Sketchlib, and this is the closest related work to achieve this goal because it proposes optimizations for sketch implementation on programmable switch. However, it has fundamental limitation for dealing with sketch ensemble because it only targets to optimize single sketch instance. But now input is different. We want to run multiple sketch um, instances. And as you can see, the limitation here is that if you run more, if you want to run more sketch instances, uh, you need uh, hardware resources that is increasing linearly. So this is not sustainable and scalable way. And the question here is that can we run the sketch ensemble with sublinear resources while preserving the high accuracy? And the answer is yes. And uh, for to this to achieve this goal, uh, we design and implement Sketchopsky. So the key insight behind Sketchopsky is the notion of cross sketch optimization. So previously, per sketch optimization only targets to optimize single sketch instance, but now we have the ensemble of sketch instances. So it is natural to think about uh, optimization that can be applied to uh, apply to a set of sketch instances or across sketch instances. So to this end, uh, we propose five cross sketch optimizations as um, optimization building blocks. But we didn't stop here because now we realize that, oh, we have 
multiple optimizations and multiple set of uh, sketch instances as the input of sketch ensemble, then there will be many possible ways to use and combine this optimization uh, to the input of sketch ensemble. So among all valid strategy, uh, we want to find the best strategy quickly on how to apply those building blocks to the input of sketch ensemble. And finally, uh, we found out that it is challenging and demanding task for network operators to manually translate those uh, strategy into a working code. So uh, to help them, uh, we build this autocode composition module that automatically outputs an optimized sketch code. So to this end, um, our sketch of ski enables uh, running up to 18 sketch instances concurrently in one ensemble by reducing up to 45% of hardware resources. Okay, so let's move on to the optimization. And before talking about um, optimization, uh, I have one back background slide for explaining how sketches work and what are the hardware resources are needed to run them. So sketches have three common workflow steps, uh, hash computation, counter update, and heavy flow key storage. So when packet comes, uh, sketch extracts the predefined flow key such as source IP from the packet header and it uses that flow key to perform hash computation. And then used this hashed value, it updates to the counter arrays. And finally, if the flow key is identified as heavy flow, then it's, it will be stored in the SRAM storage. On the other hand, at the programmable switch side, there are three key hardware resources to support this um, sketching algorithm. So there are hash units, which is in charge of hash computations, and stateful ALU or SLU is in charge of one read and write operation to the SRAM. Basically, it handles memory accesses, and there is SRAM for memory, mem memory space. So if we map this, um, hash computation step needs multiple allocations of hash units, and both counter update step and heavy flow key step requires the allocation of SLU and SRAM. Okay, so now we, we move on to the optimization part. So we have this input of sketch ensemble uh, with multiple sketch instances. And the key insight of this cross sketch optimization is that we can actually reuse hardware resources across sketch instances. So for example, um, for the hash computation step, uh, actually we found out that we can reuse hash results either as is or with slight modification using XOR operation. And for the counter update step, uh, we can reuse counter arrays or we can reuse an SLU to update two counter arrays simultaneously. And also we can reuse uh, heavy flow key storage as well. So for this talk, uh, we will go over three optimizations. So first optimization is about reusing hash result to reduce hash units. So in this example, we have three sketch instances with the uh, same flow key definition of source IP and originally, uh, we needed six allocation of hash unit. However, what we can do here is that we can reuse hash results across sketch instances so that we can reduce the number of hash unit allocations from six to three. And this is possible because hash uh, sketch, sketching algorithms are required for a single sketch instance that ha uh, must have the hash independency However, hash independence is not required across sketch instances, so this uh, optimization will not compromise any accuracy. And there is a notion of applicable condition. So uh, the optimization cannot be applied to any arbitrary set of sketch instances. Instead, uh, it can apply to a set of sketch instances only if uh, the applicable condition is met. And for this optimization, the applicable condition is that flow key definition for all um, sketch instances must be the same. Then what if the flow key definitions are different? Uh, we have optimization for that case as well. So in this case, we have three sketch instances with different definition of flow key, and it has originally three hash unit allocation. And what we can do here is that uh, we can leverage the XOR operation to generate the hash result for the sketch tree. So using this technique um, and optimization, we can reduce the uh, hash unit from three to two. And this uh, XOR-based hash generation is widely used in many fields, and it is proven that uh, the accuracy will not be compromised as well. 
And also there is a notion of applicable condition for this optimization as well. The union of flow key one and flow key two should be flow key three. So uh, let's take a look at another optimization to deal with um, counter update step. So in this example, we have three sketch instances and each of them are in charge of different measurement tasks on the control plane. And what we notice here is that maintain, um, instead of maintaining three different sets of counter arrays, uh, we can maintain one set of counter arrays and that counter array can support three different measurement tasks simultaneously if some applicable conditions are met. So by doing this optimization, we can reduce both SLU and SRAM. So SLU is summation of RI, which means that the total number of rows of these counter arrays, and it's reduced from nine to four, and also the total SRAM block is reduced from 25 to 13. And also note that accuracy is also improved because if you take a look at the measurement one, measurement task one, originally it used eight SRAMs, but now it uses 13 SRAM, which is more memory, then we can, more memory win means higher accuracy. So let's move on to the strategy finder. So to motivate why we need strategy finder module, um, let's take a look at this table. So each row means um, different sketch instances as the input of sketch ensemble, and column means different optimizations. So each optimization can be applied to disjoint um, set of sketch instances, and gray boxes uh, visually show this. And now you can see that there are many possible combinations of this mapping. So essentially, we call this um, one mapping as strategy, and we define this as random variable x. And what we essentially want to do is solving this optimization problem to find the solution x star, where we want to minimize the objective function of hardware resources given the strategy x or mapping x, such as the, and the validity of the x must be true, meaning that all the gray boxes must, be, must satisfy the applicable conditions for that specific optimization. And obviously the challenge here is that it has very, very large search space. It takes days or more to solve this. So we come up with an idea of a search space decomposition. So the key insight behind this idea is that we notice that each optimizations apply to different workflow step independently. So we decompose the problem space into three groups uh, corresponding to the three workflow steps and solve the optimization problem uh, for the smaller space. And we find the optimal solution for the smaller problem if, and if we merge and concatenate them, then that will become the global optimal solution. So by using this search space decomposition idea, uh, search space will be uh, will get a lot smaller so that we can f find, a so find a solution of a lot significantly faster. Okay, let's move on to the evaluation. So first, I want to talk about the feasibility comparison in terms of sketch ensemble for before and after optimization. So the x-axis here is the number of, number of sketch instances in one ensemble. And per uh, different number of sketch instances, uh, we randomly generated 10 different ensembles. And for the y-axis, uh, it shows that among 10 ensembles, how many of them are actually feasible on the Tofino program of a switch. So uh, higher is better. And if you compare between before and after, you can see that after optimization shows always more feasible ensembles compared to before, which means that our work sketch of scheme makes previously, many previously infeasible ensembles become feasible. Then how we can achieve this? Let's zoom in to see like the individual resource reductions. So uh, we fixed the number of sketch instances to 12 for this um, setup. And this time we generated three different ensembles randomly. And y-axis means the resource usage in percentage, which is um, used resources divided by available resource. And error bar means 10% to 90% percentile. So you can, if you, be, compare before and after, 
uh, the hash units and SLUs are much reduced, and it's now it's well, well under the feasibility line of 100%. And this uh, explains how Sketchovsky makes previously infeasible uh, ensembles become feasible. Finally, uh, let's take a look at uh, accuracy results. So for this evaluation, uh, I used 10 different sketching, alg sketching algorithms, and we created four different ensembles based on these um, 10 sketching algorithms, and we actually run them on the uh, Tofino switch uh, using the Kaida packet trace. So x-axis is the sketch instances um, configured with different sketching algorithms, and y-axis means the error of the measurement task. And as you can see, um, Sketchovsky either preserves the accuracy, like the accuracy is similar across all the um, measurements, and sometimes it even increases the accuracy, which means that error is significantly reduced. So the conclusion here is that running diverse measurement tasks at scale is critical for network management, and while it is promising to run sketch ensemble on programmable switch, uh, no known prior work uh, can handle it well due to the fundamental limitation. So to this end, we propose a composition framework, Sketchovsky, that propose cross-sketch optimizations and strategy finder and autocode composition module. So finally, Sketchovsky makes previously infeasible sketches feasible by reducing up to 45% of hardware resources without any accuracy loss. Um, thank you so much, and I'm happy to take any questions.